10 Disturbing 9-11 Secrets Number 10. 9-11 Commission Key members of the 9-11 Commission state that the Commission was set up to fail. Lee Hamilton, head of the Commission, and many other members of the 9-11 Commission criticised the government for sabotage. This was due to terrible funding, lack of time given to complete the Commission, and conflicting interests of many members chosen by the government and many alleged cover-ups. Max Clayland resigned after labelling the commission a national scandal and saying that the government wants to cover up the truth. He also said that officials from the Pentagon lied to the 9-11 commission. Number 9. Funding The General Accounting Office of the United States claims that the average funding for commissions into scandals and other investigations is around 30 to 40 million dollars. Despite this, 9-11, the largest terrorist attack on American soil, only received $15 million, leading many to believe that the US government purposefully underfunded the 9-11 commission in an attempt to hide facts about 9-11. Number 8. Building 7 World Trade Center 7, next to the Twin Towers, collapsed at 5.20pm, more than 7 hours after the second tower fell. No planes hit the building whatsoever and was only damaged slightly by fire. The BBC reported the building as collapsed live on air 20 minutes before it actually collapsed. The report even showed Building 7 behind the reporter as she documented the collapse. World Trade Center 7 was the largest CIA headquarters and housed offices which were investigating stock and accounting fraud. Building 7 was also the first building to be cleaned up and all evidence from the building was destroyed. Number 7. Larry Silverstein Wealthy CEO of Silverstein Properties, Larry Silverstein, made some questionable investments on July 24, 2001, 49 days before the attack. Silverstein spent more than $14 million of his personal assets to win a bid on a 99-year lease of the World Trade Center. This did not render Silverstein owner, however, did make him the primary benefactor of the insurance money that was paid out from the attack. After a long and expensive legal battle with the insurance firm, Silverstein was personally awarded almost $5 billion by a federal court. Number 6. Bush's Security At 9.06 a.m., President Bush was informed that a plane had hit the World Trade Center and that America was under attack. Immediately, many high-profile politicians, such as Vice President Dick Cheney, were rushed to a secure position. However, despite his location being known, President Bush remained at Booker Elementary School for 20 minutes after learning about the attack. Number 5. Bush Lies while at a speech regarding the 9-11 attacks in Orlando, Florida in 2001, a small child asked Bush about his feelings when he heard about the attacks. Bush stated that he saw the first plane hit the tower live on a television at the school he was visiting. However, many have questioned this claim as the only footage of the plane hitting the first tower was yet to be released until September 12, 2001, a day after the attacks. Number 4 bad advice. After the plane hit the first tower, many people in the second tower began to try and flee. However, the people were advised by the port authority to remain at their desks. Some still decided to try and escape, but guards blocked their exit from the tower, leaving them locked in. Over 1,000 people later died in the tower. Number 3. The Pentagon the Pentagon is arguably the most secure and monitored government building in North America. Despite this, no actual footage of a plane hitting the building was ever released. The government only released footage of an explosion seen from a nearby gas station. However, the footage only shows an explosion, no plane. Number 2. William Cooper On June 28, 2001, Three months before the 9-11 attacks, William Cooper made some unbelievable predictions on a radio broadcast. He stated that an attack on American soil would be blamed on Osama bin Laden before bin Laden was infamous or well recognized at all. Cooper was found shot dead in his home two months after the 9-11 attack. 
Number 1. Flight 93 The 9-11 Commission reported that the third plane, Flight 93, crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. County Coroner Wally Miller was one of the first at the site and quoted seeing no plane. He said, quote, It looked like someone just got a scrap truck, dug a 10-foot ditch and dumped trash in it. He also said that there were, quote, no bodies, and to this day has not seen, quote, a single drop of blood.